Hey everybody, Average Sniper here. Welcome to the video. Big PUBG patch report 25.1. Let's go over the video and read some of the patch notes. Smack that like button. Let's get started. Welcome to update 25.1, where we introduce a powerful new armament, new desert gales that will reshape your strategies on the harsh landscape of Miramar, and an iconic collaboration that's sure to turn heads. Let's get right to it. First, get ready for a seismic shift in your arsenal with the Dragonov, a formidable DMR that's tough to handle but hits like a freight train. This 7.62mm powerhouse, available as a world spawn in both normal and ranked, not only provides a gameplay balancing between high risks and high rewards, but also heralds a chance-based high damage system. For a comprehensive rundown... I seriously doubt this is a one-shot kill DMR, but the... The trailer is making it look like it. Every time he shoots somebody in the head, you can see the helmet pop off and the player die or get knocked. Probably probably not a one-shot head kill, but they're probably just trying to make it look cool. But it says high risk, high reward, so maybe it's going to be a game changer. Now, don't forget to visit the patch notes. Up next, we have the Miramar sub update. Discover Pertona, a new territory with opportunities for exploration and looting. Watch out though, the familiar red zone is now replaced with a unique sandstorm that sweeps the battlegrounds. This isn't your ordinary storm. It inflicts damage, obscures your vision, slows your pace and wreaks havoc on your electronic gear. If you're craving more agility... It's, a, it's the uh, tornado or whatever it is from uh, Vikendi. Now they put it on Miramar. We're also deploying the zip lines. Utilize the zip lines for swift, strategic traversing between islands and bridges. Plus, we've modified some locations. Those zip lines will be fun to snipe people off of. Cut back unnecessary areas and much more. But wait, that's not all. The Crafter Pass returns, featuring an ultra luxury collaboration with the iconic sports car brand, Aston Martin. Blaze across the battlegrounds, embodying style, luxury, performance, and exclusivity. New car. All Want right. to know how to obtain these iconic skins? Check out the upcoming Aston Martin announcement for all the details. We have Want to know how to obtain these skins? Just buy them. That's what they should have said. Have heaps more in store for you this update, including a brand new team deathmatch map, the boardwalk, and more. Be sure to read the patch notes for a comprehensive. Who plays team deathmatch? I don't think a lot of people play PUBG for the Team Deathmatch. Comment down below if you play Team Deathmatch and let me know how it is. Rundown of all the new updates. And we'll see you on the battle maps. That looked like... Was that like four new cars? Hold on. Yeah. One, two, three, four... Four new, four new car skins for Aston Martin, it looks like. That's pretty cool. I like that. The dude lounging in the, the pool right here. All right, so uh, that actually um, actually looks like it's going to be a big update. It says um, we've got um, August 9th uh, is when the patch goes live, I guess. 9 and 12 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. UTC, and then console on August 17th. So there is a ton of patch notes here. So I'll put the link to the patch notes in the video description. Um, but we'll just briefly go over the highlights here, all right? I guess the entire patch notes is highlights, but let's let's just see what we got here. So the um, we already did the maintenance schedule. The map service just says which maps are going to be in rotation, so we can skip that. This one is important. The new weapon is going to be the Dragon Off. Let's see if they say damage per shot, 58, 73 max. That means 73 is a headshot damage. So basically they just showed really cool headshots, like making it look like a one-shot kill. But it's just going to be another you know, SLR or uh, SKS. Let's see what kind of ammo it takes. It takes 7.62, so it's going to be... Yeah, it's a, it's just another 7.62 DMR. I'll probably use it when I find it. I doubt it's going to be a big game changer. They like to hype things up. And then, of course, we got the Aston Martin collaboration. They got, uh, let's see... An exclusive Aston Martin container is available in the starting areas. Okay, we know there's going to be some new cars. This part is pretty cool. So with Miramar, they added a new area, Partona. It doesn't look like a city. It looks like a little amusement park, honestly. Or some kind of uh, 
shopping center, maybe like a farmer's market. It kind of looks like a farmer's market. A lively hustle and bustle of markets and plazas. Okay, yeah. It replaces Los Higos. I don't even know where Los Higos is. And the only update for Miramar that I'm interested in is the one where they remove it from the game. Sorry, I know I just triggered a whole bunch of people by saying that, but I'm not the biggest fan of Miramar. Um, and of course, they have the sandstorm, which has just pulled over the tornado from Vikendi, or cyclone, whatever they call it. That's the word I was looking for, cyclone. I think that's what it is. They're adding the zip line. Like I said, that's going to be fun to snipe people off of. Here's some details about area modifications we do not need to get into that if you guys want serious details about all the miramar changes and patch notes just go to the video description and click the link because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste everybody's time and spend half an hour reading about loot rich buildings have been replaced <laughs> it's that's not very exciting what do they say about spawns additional pickups and marado vehicles will now spawn in both normal rank modes weather they have a new desert inspired hazy weather Okay, that's that's cool. The texture of clear weather has been enhanced. I do like graphical updates. It makes the game feel more immersive. Uh, let's see. Blue zone. They adjusted the blue zone. Okay. To provide a more challenging predictive element. Okay. The emergency pickup plane has been replaced by a helicopter. That's interesting. Uh, you can zero the six times scope now. I never do that. I just aim above their heads. You can now use a spectate feature after viewing the death cam. Oh, well, it's about time. It only took five years since they implemented the death cam. Because if you click spectate, you can't watch the death cam. And if you click death cam, you can't spectate when it's done. It didn't make any sense. So now they need to make it so after you click spectate, you can still watch the death cam without waiting to the end of the match. Finally! What a what an obvious update that should have happened years ago. Ranked season 25. I don't care about ranked, so. Arcade, social clan buttons have been removed. Okay. Team Deathmatch, a new map. Let me know if you play Team Deathmatch in the comment. I'm really curious. Intense Battle Royale. Uh, they removed TPP mode, I guess. And then we just got some random... Looks like just some random updates and bug fixes here. So again, I will put the link to this. I'll copy it right now in the video description so that if you want to read all the little nitty gritty details, you can. I think the coolest update is going to be the Dragon Off and the zip lines in Miramar. Um, things like zip lines seem like such minor changes, but they really can change the whole dynamic of the gameplay, especially if the circle is ending in a place where the zip lines are going to be utilized a lot. So I am looking forward to the Miramar change. Anything to make Miramar more enjoyable, assuming they're not going to just remove it. <laughs> and then I will love to, uh, try out the new Dragon Off weapon. So those are the updates and thank you for watching. I, uh, hope you have a wonderful day and always remember Taylor Swift for life. Bye.